Hi, I'm Mary Friesen. I'm Len Friesen. And we're um, co-leading a tour to the capitals of, uh, two capitals of Russia, St. Petersburg and Moscow in the spring of 2020. Of course, Moscow is the capital, but they were both capitals at one time or another, and it's one of the stories that we'll tell. Mm -hmm. And they both have a feel of being terrific and extraordinary capitals. But in this clip, we wanted to say a word about Moscow. And what I was saying about Moscow is that uh, whereas St. Petersburg has much that's splendid, that's kind of spread out a little bit, in Moscow there's no question as to what is the core. The core of Moscow is Red Square and the Kremlin. If you're hearing my voice, hearing our voices, you've known of Moscow and uh, you've known of the Red Square and the Kremlin all your life. And uh, we're going to take you there. Our hotel is... It's a 10, 15 minute walk from Red Square. And so we'll take you there initially on a walk down to the uh, Red Square, but then you'll feel very comfortable, I think, to go on your own as other um, tours have done. Red Square, in Russian, actually the word red and beautiful are uh, had the same origin. So it was actually known as the beautiful square. Uh, that won't surprise you when you see it. Uh, much happens there, St. Basil's Cathedral, the walls of the Kremlin. That's where Lenin and Stalin are both buried. Uh, that's where Putin still makes his appearances, Ivan the Terrible. It's all there. It's really quite exciting. The armory, which houses the uh, Fabergé eggs, you'll have um, a tour of. You'll see the gum uh, department store on the one side of Red Square. We'll also go down to into the bowels of the earth it feels like but to see um, tour these magnificent subway um, stations and the artistic work that um, they're all different there are a variety of them so we'll go to what seven maybe we go to or six eight. or seven yeah. you'll see them in all the guidebooks uh, only we just go on our own it's really kind of neat uh, if you haven't seen um, uh, a subway station lined with marble or intricate mosaics or chandeliers. or chandeliers, then you need to come along to this city. Mm -hmm. um, and what's really neat is uh, people will feel comfortable fairly quickly. Moscow has a manageable, because it is a core, and because of where our hotel is, people will go and wander on their own. You will feel that comfortable, or you can hang out with us as we wander about. And if you've read uh, A Gentleman in Moscow, which is a popular uh, literary read right now, um, the Metropole, it, well, what we can walk right by that. It's very close to Red Square, um, where supposedly the setting was for that novel. We only like to lead tours where we're comfortable and uh, cities that we've been to our settings many, many times. I think that applies to Moscow. Uh, we've been uh, back and forth to Moscow since for about 30 years now. Uh, and uh, many, many times. So when you travel with us, you won't be seeing us look at a map to see where we're going next. But we just uh, have that kind of familiarity. And what's amazing is you will have that familiarity too mm -hmm. as you travel with us. So come join us. Join us in Tour Imagination's tour to the two capitals in 2020.